Welcome to the Marvelous Marriage Moment. And uh, I'm Megan Scheibner. And I'm Dr. Steve Scheibner. And this week we're going to talk about how do you keep your marriage marriage-centered. Mm-hmm. And uh, and hearing that, you might think that this is a, a broadcast for parents, but really every marriage runs the risk of not being marriage-centered. You could be newlyweds and living like roommates because roommates happen. You could be married and have your children demanding right. to be the center of attention, or you could be empty nesters like we're about to be, and all of a sudden you're stuck with each other wondering how to keep things marriage right. centered. Yeah, if you think about a wheel, the marriage is the hub of the wheel and right. the and the children are the spokes of the wheel. So we've got to take care of, care of that hub. So that's why this is such an important relationship because it's the permanent one, right? Until death do us part. So yeah. let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. For a young couple that doesn't have children yet, what would the spokes of their wheel be? Well, it's going to be it's going to be the their potential future children, potential children, but they're still the hub. Right. You're still a family whether you have children or not. Yeah. All right. So you, and you got to treat it that way, right? Because it's till the death do us part part that you got to pay attention to. So keep investing in that primary relationship. Now, the three things that we're going to talk about in keeping your marriage marriage centered is this: number one is talk time. And uh, we have a book by the same name called Talk Time, which is what sixty days worth of just devotions, devotions to yeah. do. And uh, whether you do a devotion during talk time or not, it's important that one, at least once a day, usually when whoever comes back from the office or work mm-hmm. last, like if your wife is in the home and doesn't go out to work, great. When, when dad comes home or the husband comes home, sit down, take 15 to 20 minutes, sit on the couch, have a cup of coffee, sit on the veranda, wherever you want to sit, the swinging chair on the front porch. And just talk and get reconnected with one another. And this is not a time to go over the laundry list of everything that went wrong with the kids and all the stuff that's broken in the house. And by for God's sake, don't talk about politics, okay? You know, uh, this is a time to just kind of draw one another out and talk about the, the events of the day. That's the nice thing about that talk time book does. It really helps you kind of keep focused for that 15 or 20 minutes. And it's really important, no children. So what do you do if you've got kids in the house little kids especially well give them something special to do during talk time and you say mommy and daddy are going to spend 15 minutes sitting and talking uh if they're really little get a little carpet square for them to sit on in the middle of the floor give them some special toys that they only play with during talk time if it's older kids you can say go down the basement go clean up your room we'll tell you when the time is done all right but don't let your kids, you know, be sitting between you and uh, you doing this and pay attention to me. That's that's not talk time. Right. And I'm going to add one to the list. Don't talk about the bills. Oh, don't talk. Please about the don't bills. talk about this. Right. And you know what? You might enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Now, some like of you are going. Yeah. Oh gosh. What, what are what are we going to talk about? <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, when you were dating, what did you talk about? You, you found hey, stuff to you talk about. You can even smooch on the couch during can, talk time. I don't. You know, we won't. We won't yeah, tell okay, anyone. Okay. All right. We won't tell anybody. So what's number two? <laughs> all right. On the number list? two is this dates. And and if you go back into our archives, we'll tell you how to have a really good date. But yeah. but husband and wife, you need to date each other, even if there's no children in the home and you're like, what's the big deal? It's just the two of us. Mm. It's something special that focuses on one another. Right. Absolutely. And the third is getaways and uh, different than finding a, a, you know, a date night that you go out to and, and you do once a week or once every couple of weeks, we're going to encourage you to go isolate yourselves yeah. once or twice a year. And that's go away for a weekend. Go away on a private vacation. It's important to get away from the cares of the day and spend some long-term, intensive time just relaxing, doing nothing, sleeping in, walking on the beach, you know, doing whatever it is that, that you want to do, but do it together, but get away. It, it, and don't. it's not a staycation. You're not staying in the house because you can't get away from the, the stuff that goes on with your house when you do that. You got to get away, go someplace. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, uh, but it is going to be really, really valuable time. And, you know, if they're looking for something to do while they're away, uh, go to our store and and check out (laughs) Spicy. You can can go to the characterhealth.store and either get the Talk Time book or the Spicy DVD um, because God really cares about your sex life. That's a shameless plug, but it's actually a pretty good DVD. So the three things we covered today, Talk Time, all right, 15 minutes as soon as you get home at the end of the day. Uh, dates, go on dates on a regular basis and, and getting away, isolating yourselves for a certain period of time. Yep. This has been really helpful. Yep. This has been your marvelous marriage moment. Again, if you want more, go to the store, characterhealth.store. We'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching that clip on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our weekly content. See you soon.